Your friend Russell told us plenty. Not quite. He said your dick was bigger than your brain. <laughs> oh, yeah? He really said that? I don't think he meant it as a compliment. Fucking amateurs. Who? Listen, as career criminals, you guys flunk out of kindergarten. Your prints are on the gun. Your pal left a trail of clamshells all over the murder scene. You boys did everything but leave a business card. There's Larry Moretto's blood all over those shoes you wore. Yeah? And pieces of Larry's brains. He, he, he used to beat her up all the time. Uh -huh. uh, he, he said he was going to kill her. I'm sure he did. We're going to California because she said I had real potential on TV because because of my voice. Doing what with your voice? Sports. Like, like being a sports announcer. So when did you start banging her? It wasn't like that. What was it like? It was just, we were. You were what? In love. <laughs> We were in love. <laughs> How many times? How many times did you do it, you and Mrs. Moreto? I don't know. Lots, I guess. Where? In her bed? In her and her dead husband's bed? Yeah, sometimes. Where else? <laughs> in her car. <laughs> Your car. <laughs> yeah. The ones at school. Jesus Christ. At school, huh? Yeah. In the back of the gym. And once late at night at the station where, where she does her weather reports. And twice at the motel in Piedmont. Oh, in the back of Russell's truck. <laughs> and the movie theater on Hayworth. Oh, a couple times at her parents' house when, when they're away on some vacation or something. And... Also in the field behind the gas station. But, uh... Probably where you get your donuts and coffee and stuff. It's, it's close. 